Hey there, on today's episode of Tony's Fords and Mustangs, I bought a new Maverick. And it might not be the Maverick you were thinking about. This one, beauty. So there it is. It's a 1977 Ford Maverick. It's powered by a 250 straight six. There's some things going on here that are gonna need some attention. It does have the raised white letter TurboTech. It's a new brand for me, never heard of TurboTech. They seem like they got a decent amount of tread on them. The past owner did some body work on this, and to say he knew what he was doing was probably not accurate. So I'm going to be doing some stuff there. Down the side. A little bit of you know, creative molding going on here. And I did notice there's a just a hair of drainage, I guess you'd call that, back here. But something we'll attend to later. The oil is full, but it's dark, real dark. I've got 120 miles to make it home. Do got the vent windows in the back, which is a neat touch. I don't think she's too bad. Bucket seats, power steering. I'm hoping this is a really boring video and the next thing you see is me pulling into my driveway and that's about it. Here's the interior. It's very spartan. The only gauges I got are those idiot lights there. So there's gauges going in here for sure. Mileage on it, 66,000. That's it. And that's original. It's on the title. And from the looks inside here, I, I think that's accurate. Pretty nice interior. Oh, there's a door buzzer. Oh, that's lovely. About 122 miles to go to home. I got a quarter tank of gas and no gauges. So we'll see how that goes. I'm getting there. Slow and steady, but I'm getting there. Well, I'm not the slowest car on the road. Not exactly the fastest either, but we're about 15 to 20 miles in. It's doing okay. It's, I don't have anything showing up on any of the lights. I know when I first looked at this car, brake reservoir was low, which means there's a leak somewhere in the system, and that's a sealed system. So I'm hoping not to use the brakes. I'm on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I'm hoping not to use the brakes, really, because if there's a leak somewhere, I have back brakes, but that's only 40% of your braking, and that's that's not good. It's also Friday the 13th. I didn't think about that when I decided to pick it up today. 31 miles left to go on a turnpike. So far, no complaints. So I've got up to 75 a couple times. My fuel center gauge seems to be functional, so that's a nice thing. So far, no drama. That's the way I'd like to keep it. So I'm about five miles from home. No issues so far. Maverick seems to be pretty solid. The uh, TurboTech tires really like the tram line. So that's something that's got to be addressed. I would think it's just the lack of quality of tire. So, yeah, it's uh, shocking, I know. It's, it is TurboTech. They're a very well-known brand. But other than that, it's pretty good. I actually got up to 80 miles an hour, which is... For a straight six Maverick, not too bad. There's definitely a smell in here. I do know that the lower cow on the passenger side apparently has a hole in it, and that's something I'm going to have to address. I imagine there's a little bit of mildew going on, but that's something I can work out in time. So I do plan to take this car back. I want to say it's former glory, but I want to take it to new heights, so it really actually looks very sharp. Yeah, this video not too exciting for you, but for me, that's perfect. <laughs> so I didn't have to have any roadside emergencies. Brought all my tools, so far, didn't need them. And that's great. Now the 256, there's two things about it that are pretty well known. They have a reputation. One, they're bulletproof, very reliable. Nothing really goes wrong with them. The other thing about the 256, slow really slow <laughs> i don't expect to win any drag races with this car 
it would be nice to have a car that thinking about taking it across the country and finishing up my Lincoln Highway trip. And if I had a car that started every day and drove along without any kind of drama, kind of would be the ticket. The other thing is these do pretty well on gas mileage. The Maverick was a car that was made to fight the imports from, from Europe and from, from Japan. So gas mileage was something they really keyed in on. I drove back from the other side of Philadelphia to the other side of Harrisburg where I live and I think I used a quarter tank of gas, which isn't too bad. They're not really a big car, but they're big enough. Now, of course, over the next few months, I'll be going over this car. There's going to be lots of video content coming out, but they're not all going to be Maverick specific. So one of the first things i got to do here is I've got idiot lights, and that's it. Which some people like because they get your attention. But I really like to know what's going on in my engine compartment. I want to know what the temperature is. I want to know what my oil pressure is. And an idiot light really doesn't do that for you. They actually kind of, the old idiot lights used to just get slowly brighter to draw your attention. So if your voltage was off, the alternator light would start to flicker dimly. And as it got worse, as your alternator got worse, it got real bright and that would draw your attention, which is fine, I guess. But really it was a cost cutting measure. They didn't have to make the extra gauges. I prefer to have gauges, so I'm going to bring some mechanical gauges in here. And mechanical gauges are things that you could add to any car if you want to know what's going on. Even a lot of your factory gauges weren't all that accurate. Well, I made it home, no issues. Everything went really, really well. Okay, so that's a wrap on this one. Maverick so far, so good. If you're looking at an older car, I'm going to leave a review to my 70, and it's going to be right over there. So maybe check that out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you.